everyone, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys what my current favorite brushes are. I have some eye brushes and some face brushes that I want to show you guys and let you know my favorites and why. So if you're excited to see what my favorite makeup brushes are, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so <laughs> my hair is not it today, okay? It's not for some reason. This little guy right here is like, I don't, I don't want to go up. I'm not gonna go. Like it won't, do you see that? I know y'all see that. Just burr. Oh, it is what it is. Okay. So we're gonna go through. I don't have very many that I want to show you. It's just, just a handful. I do have a ton of brushes, but I want you guys to know which ones are my favorite. I do use plenty plenty of brushes. I have tons of brushes, uh, but there are some that I do definitely gravitate towards more than others. So the first two are actually not brushes, they're sponges. I have scoured the earth. Scoured? Scoured? Whatever, I've gone all over the earth to find cheaper options for beauty sponges, and I cannot find them. So I've stuck with Beauty Blender and Huda Beauty Sponges. I love both of these equally, but I feel like I do have a little more love for the Beauty Blender. These are filthy, ignore them. But I feel like I have a little bit more like love for the Beauty Blender just because I love the shape of it. I love how small it is. But with the Huda Beauty Beauty Sponge, it has this like flat piece and every little beauty sponge I've ever tried that has a flat piece, it's way too big to get underneath right here because I'm just... I don't have a lot of space so this like just fits so perfectly here like look at this <laughs> done boom so I absolutely love this and it's very soft too a lot of beauty sponges I've tried are not as soft so the first three are foundation brushes that I want to show you guys the first one is morphe e63 this is more of a newer foundation brush I believe it is slanted it's fluffy but it's also dense I don't find that my foundation when I'm applying it is getting down here and being sucked in or absorbed or wasted, which I love. It kind of just sits on the top and this is actually fairly easy to clean. It's very inexpensive. They have it at Ulta. I just like it. I like how it's like flat, but it's also not flat. Like if that makes any sense, it just seems like a very fancy brush, but very inexpensive. So we have the Y6 by Morphe, the tried and true Y6, which by the way, they don't make it with a gold bar anymore. I believe it's just like the normal like this, but I don't, I don't know. I didn't even trust it, so I bought several of these. But I love the Y6 because again, it just has that flat, this is like a flat buffer brush. And it's just flat, which I really like, but it's also dense. This one does absorb a little bit more product down here than the first one I showed you did, but I love it. It's so like, you can either buff it in if you want, you can like, you know, what is the word I'm looking for? Blend it in. Oh my God, who am I even a makeup artist? Don't mind my eyebrows, by the way. I'm trying to grow them out. <laughs> they look so bad. They look so bad. My hair looks bad. My eyebrows look bad. My skin looks bad. <laughs> if you could tell, I'm not having a good week. But I like the feel of this brush and I like how it applies my foundation really, really, really well. It's one of my old tried and true brushes. So the next one is a Lorely Los Angeles and this is the L11. Almost identical to the Y6, but it's a little bit different. This is way more dense. I use this one when I am doing more buffing. My daughter's used it apparently for pink makeup. <laughs> it's just not what it's for. But the only problem is she said that it is less likely to absorb the makeup. And if you look down here, this one does definitely absorb way more, but it is really dense. So I love to go in with a foundation brush and then buff out right before I finish. So like make it look like a flawless finish. And then I go in with a beauty sponge and I just make it look really smooth. So the next one is going to be the Morphe 173. This is a concealer brush. So I like using concealer brushes now. I like using little buffer brushes under my eye now instead of the beauty blender because I can really get in here and blend it out on the waterline or on my lower lid line. I've really kind of focused more on brushes lately with my complexion products than I have beauty blenders. I kind of just use beauty blenders now to more or less set it and make it look 
like flawless like just as a finisher if that makes sense so this one has been amazing I think this is like five or six bucks super awesome I haven't used it with powder products but I do like it with the cream so the next one is the morphe m579 this one I use for my bronzer I don't really contour I've never been a contour person and I don't use it for like up here I just use it for here sometime but all of the time my chin I get it to go Doot, 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 straight like it just straight up jaw I really do enjoy this one it gives me a very precise line and then I can blend it out from there so the next one is the pro contour 79 by the Sephora collection I love this brush I don't know what it is about this brush that this is my favorite powder brush I love to set all my powder with this brush it's very soft it's a little bit tapered it's a little bit domed it's everything in between I don't know if they sell it anymore I will tell you it was kind of pricey for being Sephora like off brand I don't know is Sephora collection off brand I don't know but it was kind of expensive if I'm not mistaken it was like 15 or 18 dollars it was a lot but it's a nice brush and I really like it and I love the hairs and I've had this one for years I have never lost a hair out of her I do have a little guy over here doing a little something but that's it like this is a really nice brush we're gonna go into eye brushes so these are actually mostly morphe so the morphe m503 it is a more flat if you look there it's more flat but tapered i really really love this for a very sharp crease i also use this to place shadow if I'm not doing like shimmer or something, it's matte. I use this to place it on my lid. I really, really enjoy it. And then there is this tapered one, which is the Morphe M330. This is a smaller taper blending brush. It's pointy, it's not as dome shaped. And I use that obviously for my crease. It's so soft, I really love this. I do prefer the black bristles over the white. I don't know if there's a difference. If you know, please let me know down below. I'm supposed to be a professional, but I'm not a professional. I don't know the difference, but I love this brush. So then I have the ABH Duo brush. I know this is probably like, oh my God. But if you go back like two, maybe a year or two ago, I did another brush favorites. Uh, and this was in there. I love this for blending. This is a newer one, actually. I love this for blending. These are actually really nice. I do tend to, with the newer ones, go like this to just, like, get it. That's what I do with all of them. Not just this brush. All of my brushes that are blending brushes, this is what I do. And because I like it to be loose. But I love the size of it and I love how it blends. I think I'm getting an actual eyeshadow on my eyes because some of these are not clean. But I really, really enjoy this. I don't use this end of it. So if you have them, don't throw them away. They're not terrible brushes. So the next two are the Morphe 518 and 513. We have a red one and a blue one. It's like they're white. These are just dirty. They're very similar in shape. They're very similar in size. But this one is more pointy where this one is more soft and loose. So I use this one usually to place color in my crease and I'll use this one to go in afterwards and blend it and buff it out. So this is the Morphe. There's a name for this one. There's a name and I don't remember what it is. M, oh, I don't remember, M60. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. I recently got this one or this one. I have two of them. I recently got one of them and then I was like, what the hell is this for? It's a glitter packing brush. Okay. It's silicone. Apparently you can get them on Amazon for cheaper, but I, I just got another one from Morphe. That's what I did. Cause these will last me for a while. Cause they're, they're silicone. They're not hairs, but they literally pick up the glitter like that, place it on your eye. Like it's nobody's business and move the fuck on. Like, they're so nice to have, and I really, really enjoy them, and they're very inexpensive. I think, at most, $6. And then we're moving on to my eyebrow brush. This is my go-to eyebrow brush. It will always be my go-to eyebrow brush. I have tried a many, hated them all, and gone back to this one. So this is the ABH. I think this is, yeah, the 12. I don't like... They have another one, and I hate it. It's not the 12. What is it? The 14... There's some crap. It's not the same. I thought they were all the same, but they're not. Yeah, the 14. It has more white bristles. I use this one for filling in most of the time, but I hate it for carving it. The 12 is where it's at. I have multiple. Uh, so I got two of them here for you. I love these brushes. I have yet to find a brush that is stiff, but not too stiff. Thin, not thick, 
per like the, this perfection in a stick. I love this brush. I have I will never. I have so many makeup or eyebrow brushes in here. It's not funny, and I hate them all. Like I will try because I want to try. I want to try to you know spread my wings, venture out, and it just does. I just come back to these. I love them. I love them. The only problem is they're like eighteen dollars a piece, which I find to be a bit pricey. But it is what it is. So then I have this little brush right here, which is a ColourPop E twenty. I really hated almost all of ColourPop's brushes. And also, when I wash them, this happens. They're just very cheap, but they cost more than Morphe brushes, and they're just cracking and peeling. I really, really enjoy this one for my P. Louise, or when I'm cutting a crease, because they're, it's so, like, stiff. Look at that. Look how thin that is. And it just gets such a sharp, sharp line. So I really do enjoy this one. I have a ton of the other ones, and I'm pretty certain I gave them away, because they all turned out to be garbage so this one I really like the E20 and then I have another Morphe brush which is the E36 this is a pencil brush um, I don't use this under the eye because it's a little bit too thin but I find that I really really enjoy this one for my inner eye because I have some other ones that I use I have tons of them bigger or smaller that I use for my under eye and placing color see but I like this one because it's very small, but it moves. It's not as stiff as those. If you guys have pencil brushes, you know that a lot of them are stiffer. So I really do like this one in here so I can still be precise, but blend it a little bit more. And sometimes I like to use it on my nose. Only two more. <laughs> so the next one is the Laura Lee Los Angeles L19. I really, really use this brush to pack color on. I don't blend it. I just use it to pack, 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 and then blend it with other brushes because it's, it's such a weird brush to explain. It's like a packing brush, but it's tapered and it's dense. Like it's really dense. And if you were to try to blend with this, I fear that it would t remove the eyeshadow. So I just use it to pat color onto my lid and I really like it. And again, this is the L19. And then the last, but certainly not least, it has been my favorite brush since I started makeup and it is the MAC 239. Now, this is a newer one because the 239s are discontinued. This is the 239S which is now synthetic hairs, not natural hairs. So it does, it definitely does a little bit of a different job, a little bit of a different job, but it's not terrible. It's still my ride or die. I use this to pack on my shadow, whether it be cream, whether it be glitter, whatever it might be, this guy works wonders. Now, these are fucking expensive. So I've, I've looked I've looked, okay, to find brushes similar to this one from Morphe, and I really cannot find any that I love like I love this one. It's $30 for this, so, and I have several. I have a problem. I have a problem. When I got my 239s, this was almost five, six years ago. I just replaced these mid last year. So we're talking like four years, a not long enough time for them to completely reformulate the brush and me have no idea. That's how long they lasted me. And honestly, I only got new ones because my daughter's lost mine. And if you find one that is similar to this brush and you really do know that it's similar, like you've tried both of them, let me know because I've been looking because I'm tired of spending $30 on makeup brushes. But that is it guys for my video. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if any of these are your favorite makeup brushes down below. Let me know what your favorite makeup brush is down below. So maybe I can buy it and maybe I'll do like a whole video on my subscribers, um, favorite favorite makeup brushes and see what I like. Maybe like a quick review of them or something. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do new videos every single week. You do not want to miss out on those. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.